All right, Coach, ready whenever you are. Okay. Thanks a lot. It's a pleasure to be here on coachesclinic.com and talking about the A formation, which is something that I've been experimenting with for quite some time now. It was a formation that I first came across in a book about the NFL as something that had been used back in the 1930s. And it was something that was only ever adopted <clears throat> at the professional level by one team, the New York Giants. And at the college level, I know there were a few schools, um, Oklahoma State, what the school that eventually became Oklahoma State, which I guess was Oklahoma Teachers College or something like that back in the 30s and 40s. I think OU actually tried it for a season or two as well, but it's never been widely adopted. It's always been kind of a, a different way to look at running an offense. But to my mind, it's probably the most effective way to marry speed, power, and deception that I know of. And I'm going to talk about it in some detail here. The, the good news is that I've got time to go into it in, in a bit of detail. And hopefully we can generate some questions and, um, and get a good discussion going about the A formation and why I think it is probably the best youth offense um, if you have a player who's your best passer and who's not one of your best runners, you may not want to run the single wing because to me, the single wing is all about having your best passer also being one of your best runners. So if, if, you know, the good Lord has blessed you with someone like a Tim Tebow, then by all means, you want to be running single wing and, and urban Meyer was smart enough to realize that at Florida. But if you don't, if your best passer is not also one of your best runners, then to my mind, you want to look at an offense that allows your passer to pass, your runners to run, your receivers to receive. You know, it, it rewards specialization if you don't have that one guy who, who wears the red S on his chest who, who's great at everything. Now, if you're blessed with that kind of talent, especially at the youth level, um, Dave Caesar's single wing system is far and away the best thing I've seen. I recommend it very highly. If, on the other hand, you've got the very good passer who's not an outstanding runner, naturally speaking, then something like the A formation is a very good way to get started. My actual thought process on this is I would start kids out on A formation when they're seven, eight, nine, ten 10 years old. After that point, I would look at transitioning to my um, youth wing T system because it's also based on the same sorts of plays, the same kind of deception, the same general blocking schemes. There's a lot of commonality. It's just that with the wing T, you move the quarterback to up under center. <clears throat> and then when you get up to high school age and, and above, then to my mind, again, the thing that you want to be looking at is the best combination of speed, power, and deception available. And for me, that's my wild bunch offense. And I hope to be talking about that and about my youth wing T in one of these webinars coming up. In fact, I'm already scheduled for the 21st of April to talk about my youth wing T system. And hopefully one of these days we can do one of these recordings um, for you folks to listen to about my wild bunch offense. But to start off with the system at hand, we've got the A formation and I'm going to go through these slides. Um, this same slide uh, presentation, the same PowerPoint presentation is available on scribed.com. That's S-C-R-I-B-D dot com slash Ted C with no space in it. T-E-D-S-E-A-Y. All of the football things that I've uploaded onto the internet over the years are on that scribed.com page. This presentation is one of them. You can download it from there for free. And the good thing is, if you've got the, the PowerPoint capability on your computer, you can look at the notes pages and the presentation itself is filled with blocking rules and sort of inside information on the system. And it tells you 
how you can get this thing up and running very quickly and easily. It's almost like a full playbook. It's not just a set of slides with, you know, still pictures of some of these plays. It actually goes into a lot more of the detail on, you know, running the offense. So I recommend that to you if you have any interest in this offense. Go to scribe.com, download the A Formation 2013 PowerPoint presentation, and have a look at the notes pages. So I'm going to take us to the first slide. Basically lays out how simple this system is. I only use one formation, completely flip-flop right and left, and there are very few plays involved. The slides you're going to see present 11 plays. <clears throat> I'll talk to you about a 12th play, which is a nice little bit of, of misdirection and power. And in fact, it involves wedge blocking. So it's a, a very, very useful short yardage addition to the half spin sweep series, which is the basis of the running game for my version of the A formation. So we go on to the next slide and here it is. This is the one formation 